Let's look at taxonomy of algae. And this is the different groups of algae and their relatives. And algae are really a stepping stone between photosynthetic bacteria and land plants. So let's see how this starts out. The cyanobacteria are the photosynthetic bacteria. And the cyanobacteria look like this. They're little single cell things. They don't have a whole lot of structure to them. From there, it says we got our first eukaryotic organism. And these had the first muroplast. And the muroplast is like a chloroplast. But it differs because it's got peptidoglycan in the wall. And the peptidoglycan is the material that's actually found in the cell wall of bacteria. So these are called the glaucophytes. And the glaucophytes are these single-celled little things that look like that. From there, we got the first eukaryotic organisms. And we got a rhodoplast. And a rhodo, rhodo stands for red. So these are red in color. And it says we've also got this material called phycobilosomes which are the chloroplasts that are a little bit different in structure. And this group, it says we go over to the rhodophyta, which are the red algae, and they would look like that. And you can see how they're kind of red in color, and they almost look like uh, a lot of them are seaweed-type things, and they would have that distinct type of tonality to it. And from that, we also get the heterocontophyta. And what this looks at is it looks at the flagella that are found on the cell, and hetero means that you've got two. So you've got two different flagella on the cell. Out of this, we get the theophyta, and these are the brown algae, and we get the diatoms, and we get the chrysophytes, which are the golden algae. We have a branch off then that goes to the eukaryotic things that have actual chloroplasts in them, and out of this, we get the chlorophytes, which are the green algae, we get the caraphytes, which are the spider warts. Now, you can look at this, and this starts to look like a much more developed material that starts looking like a land plant. So what we're doing is we're getting something that becomes much more evolved. And out of that grouping, we get the plantae, which are the higher land plants, and we'll show that with this particular flower. So when we look at algae, we can see that we have a progression from one part to the next based on the types of material that are found in it. Cyanobacteria, prokaryotic. Glaucophytes, they're eukaryotic. They have peptidoglycan in the muroplast wall. They're a small group of freshwater algae, and they don't look like they're a whole lot to it. They're kind of single-celled to, uh, you know, a little bit more beyond single-celled. Rhodophyta, they have rhodoplasts with, that have phycobilosomes in Photosystem 2. There says these phycobilosomes are also found in cyanobacteria and glaucophytes, but they are not found in the higher green plants. So that shows that they are related back, and it says this gives them the red color that they've got. We have the header. Contophyta, flagellated cells with two flagella, one posterior whiplash, one anterior straminopolis, and out of this it says they also have the rhodoplast. And the main groups include the theophyta, which are the browns, the bacilliaraceae, which are the diatoms, which are absolutely gorgeous, and the chrysophyta, which are the golden and the yellow-green algae, and they look like that. And you can see how all of these are kind of not very sophisticated. And then it says these also include the oomycota, which are the aquatic fungi that do not have a chloroplast. And we'll talk a little bit about them when we get into the fungi. But these are more related to the brown algae and everything than they are to the actual fungi because the cell wall is made up of cellulose and not chitin, as you would expect to find in a true fungus. And the oomycota look like these, and you can see the little cells in there. You see the filaments, and you see the little cells on the inside that are actually going to be the new individuals coming out. The chlorophyta, true chloroplasts. So now we've got a evolutionary change into the true chloroplast, and this is how we went from the cyanobacteria up to the true material. You got an evolutionary change, you get greater differentiation in them, and the major groups include the green algae, and these look like green algae. This, these are the sorts of things when you think of algae, this is what you think. Think of some of them are kind of gooey looking compared to the others, but these are all green algae. You have the caraphytes, which are the stone warts, and Again, you can see that particular format that looks much like a regular type plant. It says this particular individual is about 
14 centimeters long. 10 centimeters is four inches. So this is about six inches in length, which means it's starting to get to be a fairly well differentiated thing. You can see it's branching. It's got uh, what look like rudimentary leaves on it. So we've got stone warts in here that are very interesting. And then we get into the higher plants from there. And we'll talk more about higher plants later on.